Can you give us an intro? Great. Lexo. I'm just thinking you of go. all of the like... Ba, 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 ba. Channel Madness. Okay, so... <laughs> let's get ready to podcast. <laughs> I'm just going to stick with hello, ladies and gentlemen. Actually, Sam, can you do it? give us a good hello in British... Your best British... I'm actually not very good doing a British accent, like, intentionally. Just be sincere. Just, just Give us your best sincere. You just, I always just do. Talk. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Sam, all you need to do is talk. Your, 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 your accent will come through. What do you want it to say? It would if it didn't. All right. Master, Master Sam, who is king, by the way, who everyone's just forgotten. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm not really bothered, yeah, to so be honest. He will start us off with a good old jolly ladies and gentlemen welcome. Go ahead. Lead us. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Channel Badness. Thank you. Yeah. A round of applause. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it has been nearly two years, I'm going to say. Uh, I'll, I'll just leave it until it is two years. Just <laughs> Surely it hasn't been that long since the last upload. Surely. Uh, since Hello, we... ladies and gentlemen of 2025. <laughs> if we're still around by when then. The, whenever, whenever this comes, I, I will intend to make this. And we're here talking today about what... You can expect from the channel because where we've been dead for so long. The flamingos have taken over. Right. Why flamingos? <laughs> no, they just just seem like the right thing to say. All right. I think the creepy pasta about like flesh eating like lawn flamingos, like the plastic ones. Oh. Is there actually a creepy pasta about that? Yeah. Well, it's um, the SP- SCP Foundation, but yeah. Oh. If your flesh had to be devoured by one animal, which animal would you choose? We've gone way off rabbits. topic. Yeah. I think <laughs> rabbits. rabbits. Rabbits is a good choice. With their little twitchy noses and mm. fuzzy little faces. I reckon something with like a paralyzing bite or like an anesthetic sort of mm. bite something so you don't really feel so it too much. Oh, it because goes it's a, paralyzing. Something that does it in one go, like a, a T-Rex. So I'm done instantly. I don't need to worry about this. I don't need to be eaten by a million little things. <laughs> That's fair enough. If yeah. you're bar- and you're paralyzed, you're not necessarily not feeling it. Um, so, like, imagine being, like, paralysed and then feeling yourself being eaten alive. It depends. No, but I meant more like the anaesthetic soul thing. Oh, so right. Anyway, yeah. we're going we're gonna to stop this derail and move back to... So, we're here to... We're, we're, we're going to talk about the channel, what we've done, why we've done, and what we intend to do. We used to do just a whole bunch of videos, a lot of games, a lot of talking stuff, and we stopped. The main reason we stopped was because I was the only one making the videos, and I started to hate it. And I only ever wanted to do this <laughs> because of enjoyment. I wanted to have enjoyment, and I wanted to bring enjoyment to the lovely ladies and gentlemen of the internet. <laughs> um, but no, after trying to organise work and weekly videos on an ongoing basis for I think a better part of a year that I did it, I just couldn't find the time to manage both properly, and I ended up just hating both of them. And unfortunately, I can't give up on work at this, at this point in my life. So when had the, the the one that I had to give up on was the channel, mm. and yeah. So, but w- if I gave up on the channel, why am I here today? Well, because I didn't never really wanted to give up on it as a whole. It was just I wanted to rediscover my enthusiasm for it, and I think after some time, I I have. But I probably won't be going in depth like I did the first run I gave it because that was a lot of just. Uh, gameplay, then editing and stuff. I think I'm going to stick to things I can do easily and I enjoy, which will just become mostly be simple podcasts like this, um, some reviews of movies. I know Lag, uh, we watched um, Avengers Endgame, I think a few days ago when she came over and she spent the whole time nitpicking everything that came up. It was just That wasn't the first time you've seen Avengers Endgame. No, it was wasn't, it? but it was just... Oh, gosh. It, 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 <laughs> it, 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 it's, it's Josh's favourite um, Marvel movie, and I think it might be my favourite Marvel movie. And um, But, yeah, she sat there the whole time, just, just pointing out all the flaws <laughs> and was laughing. And I, I think I came to the decision that if I have kids, I'm going to show them all the Marvel movies, and I'm going to show them this one, I'm gonna say, and I'm, I'm going to say that's just the last one, that there's none after Endgame. That's a brutal way to end it. Yeah, just... I thought, wait, isn't Endgame the last one? Because it's Infinity War and then Endgame? Oh, yeah. So I'm talking about... Yes, yeah, so I'm talking about Infinity War. My apologies. <laughs> so makes Infin- sense. Infinity yeah. War would be... The, I'm just going to teach my kids that Infinity War is the last Marvel movie and there's no more after that. After Thanos wins and kills half the universe, that's it. That's, that reminds me of this... I saw some dude on the internet who edited E.T. 
So as soon as um, E.T. dies on the operating table, it just cuts to credits. <laughs> oh, oh, and wow. there's no like resuscitation or anything. Oh, wow. I've never seen E.T. So I've well, <laughs> never seen E.T. I watched it so guys. long ago that I barely I, remember I, it. I'm, I'm not. A fa- I, it's really hard for me to get into old. Old, and unless I have nostalgia oh, no. for it already, I cannot sit and watch it old, old movies. So, but yeah. I mean, I see why because it's a very different. It's not as like well put together and a little Ooh, bit. Corny. It's hot take on E. T. Yeah. No, it's, I mean, I mean, old movies I, I, I in general. Yeah, I understand what E. T. was a good movie at a time, but it's just like it's like the people who watch the old Godzilla movies with the man in the suit stomping mm. through like the city. Oh. I, get, I get that yeah. vibe on any sort of old okay, movies. Like a B, B movie sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, where you can just see uh, they're limited by the technology yes, but it's hard for me to, to get past that, even though it might be a, a good movie. I bloody love Godzilla. I, I love all of them. I love watching old men in rubber suits what? destroy cardboard oh, boxes about, painted like a city. What about the American Godzilla that has been acquired and now is just Zilla? Oh, oh no! Yeah. You oh, should no, that was watch good. That was good. Old Doctor Who, where mm. the Daleks were just like guys with rubbish bins on their heads holding plungers. <laughs> it, some of it is so good, and like you can see when they had the Cybermen, that it's quite obviously just a guy. They I, just had silver spray paint. I yeah, around. silver spray paint and just a dude. I have respect for Doctor Who because they didn't, they didn't like modernize it. They're still as dorky and goofy as they were back then. It's, it, it is a little bit more professional and, and animatronic. But it all is still a, a salt shaker with a, a plunger on the end. Yeah, of it. two feather Daleks haven't really progressed. Yeah, that much. <laughs> they, they, they have. You know, it's not like they doubled down and make it goofier, or they've made mm. it like updated, like had lead flares popping pop all over the place. It's still just a. <laughs> yeah, they've changed the look over the years, but it's still kind of just a rubbish bin mm. with yeah. a plunger. Mm. I'm just gonna make the sound that everyone's thinking right now. Exterminate. That wasn't on my mind. I was thinking, what's the one the side mean? Delete. Yeah. Delete. It's been a very long time. Oh, oh man, that audio. Look at that on the keyboard. That's not good. Sorry, audience, for that. You know, before I get to the back to the podcast, it's been a rough year, eh? Like, yeah, trying to get anything done on the channel. Yeah, 2020 has not helped with the. I was hoping to get back into it a lot sooner, but. I think we just got hit by a lot of shit this year. Not that it's a complete excuse for kind of semi-abandoning the channel. But I'm using it. Yeah, it's definitely <laughs> been a, a factor that's affected all I, of us. I will give you an excuse to abandon the channel. <laughs> that's fair. Well, they said that 2020 would be like 2020 vision, but I think now we're seeing a lot more clearly and we're seeing all the horrible little things in the world. I remember <laughs> very specifically what was, it was like, some it was, it was a meme going around where someone was in a coma for all of, was it 2019 or 2018? I, I he woke video, up yeah, and then yeah. he's like, oh, how did the, the year go? And everyone, someone explained to them all the shit stuff that happened. Like, oh, Trump is now president. Um, what's ne- that? Nearly World War Three. Nearly World War Three. What was that gorilla that got shot? Oh, oh, Harambe. Harambe. He's, he's like, and like the last one. Was David like, Bowie died. He's like, like, at least Harambe's still alive. And he's like, ooh. And it's just like, that meme contrasts to this year now. It's just like. Aww. Was there murder hornets as part of it as well? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It was just, it's just, it's just not a good, you know, the last, it's, it's just trying to find the best year, it's just, it's mm. very hard at the moment. It's all downhill from here. Yeah. He's looking for 2021. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> let's not pretend Boy. that COVID's not going to be a thing in 2021, it's yeah. just... Yeah. I do think, yeah. though, we do have to be extremely grateful for the position we are in with COVID, because yeah. oh. obviously we can come and see each other like this now, because yeah. mm. of the position that our country is in. Yeah. Because there are still so many people that are completely isolated from friends and family for months and have been for a very long time yeah, so and lucky. will continue to be into next year and i do think it is always good to, even though our year has been extremely disrupted and a lot has gone wrong for all of us we have come out the other side of it and are starting to get back to normalcy unlike the rest of the world so we're all alive yeah, That's we're all still good. here. We get to see each other. We don't have to have a fear of going out in public as much as we used to before. So yeah. none of us had COVID. Yeah, none of us got sick. Mm. We all, do we have we all been swabbed? No, no, no. I, I have not been swabbed. Oh, it's, a good ah. it's a great experience. But I've, I've I had no, like no it. symptoms or anything. So right. yeah, I have. But uh, yeah, I I'm really rather. Um, uh, 
like I get like rather defensive about around sick. Like I hate being around sick people. Or the idea of being sick is one of my most not feared but hated experiences. So I go to extreme lengths to not get sick. By mm. if so, if if one of my bosses comes in, she's she'll come in with like a snotty nose. I'll, I'll bolt a hundred meters away just to avoid it. I'm like no, nope, not not near me. If anything's that's justified your fear of sick people, it's been this year. Like, yeah, <laughs> you could just point to that's, this for the next like five decades and go, "That's why." <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it's why I'm kind of like I was already distancing from people in public before because I don't like people in my personal space. So I was pretty okay with <laughs> having to, to stay with away. From people. It's just no, I just people. don't like people yeah. that close to this, me. Yeah. This just gave me an excuse yeah. for, like, to get away from people. Yeah, an excuse to be antisocial. <laughs> yeah. I do think that the first lockdown had this kind of sense of mystery and kind of like, ooh, what we're going to do with um, all this time off? And Mm. um, there was that kind of charm to it. And we went into the second lockdown and we're like, oh, this again. Mm. And it kind of lost all of its kind of interestingness and it was just more rote. We were talking about that the other day, yeah. It seemed like there was this energy going into like... Yeah. Was it, for us, it was like Marchish, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. And just everyone was talking about there are heaps of memes on the internet, and everyone's joking and thinking about things that we could do with all of this time. And, yeah, and how, what are you going to do with your life? And yeah. how is your life going to change in society? Like, an extended long life. weekend is what people were viewing it as. Yeah, They're like, yeah. oh, cool, free time off. Like mm. everybody gets to have some time it's off. Like we're all going to relax. Like looking at things. Yeah, and the more weeks that it went on, the kind of more negative the view of it got, yeah. and people were like. I'm actually now struggling. We can't get an income if we're not going to work. Yeah. And there was yeah. all the subsidy issues and having to be eligible for different subsidies to be able to get anything. Mm-hmm. And then we came out of that lockdown and everyone's like, okay, sweet, it's going to be back to normal. And then we had to go back into another one. But I do think we can see that it did help because mm-hmm. the position we're in now, where we're, when was the last case that we knew about? Yeah. I can't, I don't even know. Yeah, we've all been able to... Pretty much work as normal. Yeah, like I'm for a decent amount back of time working now. now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and if there is a threat, you kind of don't want to give that threat a chance to get stronger, mm. you know? Yeah. But. That's why decisive lockdown, like the first lockdown was harsh, and um, especially the economic kind of fallout of that was definitely felt by a lot of smaller businesses. Yeah. Mm. And I mean, they got a lot of criticism for that, but I mean, mm. the results have been good. Mm-hmm. What do you think is like the best thing about COVID or like the whole <laughs> I know what a I'm, statement I know I know it's just like, but like the, that one thing you're like hey that actually helped well what really helped me is that when we went into the first lockdown I was recovering from a concussion and so I was like oh cool more time off recovering from my concussion I don't have to go back to work right now because I really was not okay to go back to work mm-hmm. and then I realized I can't look at any screens and I can't read and I can't do anything which is focusing on something read. while oh in gosh. lockdown. I was bored out of my mind. Oh, God. You could play with the cat? And yeah, I could play with the it. cat and occasionally I was trying to bake, but then we ended up eating too much baking. And, uh, Did you knit? <laughs> I couldn't knit either. We ran out of flowers. Of flower yeah, we shortage. ran the flower shortage. That's right. That was ridiculous. And toilet paper being bought by the dozen. Yeah, I think I, we didn't have a problem with toilet paper, but flour because everyone started making bread. For goodness' sake. Here's the thing: <laughs> it was great being gluten free during lockdown. <laughs> Don't have to worry about that. Speaking of the toilet paper, we had the reverse problem. We our store stockpiled toilet paper, and it didn't move. Mm. So our storeroom was, was just full of like pellets and pellets of toilet paper that wasn't selling. Was, really? Yeah. So was it just like an immediate rush and everyone calmed I down think when it, they realised it wasn't a I th- problem? I think it was our country's response to what we were seeing overseas, but mm. yeah. us being like a bit more logical Yeah, yeah. because it, it didn't pan out that way. So mm. Apparently though, at the moment, um, there's quite a lot of uh, things that usually get shipped to New Zealand that obviously aren't coming through. Things like socks. And so mm. they're doing like massive orders of socks and um, internally within New Zealand because people need socks. So. Uh, I think it really wouldn't just be anything that comes from overseas because any, yeah. t- any of our stock that was from overseas, there were huge delays on just the arrival times and just in general. Yeah. yeah. So we um, quite often go shopping at the Taiping and obviously they get a lot of their produce, not produce, sorry, products from um, China, Japan and Korea. And there was like a definite um, 
like you could easily see there were empty shelves when you went in there because they didn't have the stock Mm. because it couldn't be sent over Mm. especially with the kind of prejudice that people had towards anything coming from China Mm. but yeah it seems to be doing a bit better now but you can definitely still see it's had a great effect and we could obviously see the effect on the um, retail industry considering that we don't really have many production centres for clothing in New Zealand so all of the new stock coming in for winter and then summer has to come from overseas and through Australia and yeah quite often through Melbourne and then when Melbourne was in lockdown there was lots of delays so a lot of stores when they did open up here had to just continue with the same stock that they had without getting new stuff in because Mm. it couldn't get here. Mm. A lot of the fabric mills are overseas as well. Aren't yeah, getting they? fabric from overseas. Um, we barely, yeah, there's no real like huge production um, locations in New Zealand for wow. clothing at the moment. We used to have a lot more here, but um, it just was cheaper to move it overseas. So <laughs> now we're seeing the problem with that. Mm. So we are quite dependent on all the other countries in the world. <laughs> it has been a good year for hobbies, I would say. <laughs> or, or even though saying that I don't think I've done any more progression on any of my particular hobbies yeah I'd say that it's a good year for hobbies but all of my time has just been on uni well, this 100% of my time yeah. this year Lock, lockdown I think has affected each one of us in different ways for example I worked through all throughout the lockdown because you worked hard I was in a essential worker yeah I was an essential worker in a retail store so it was our job to make sure that there was food and this supplies ready so I didn't yeah. get the luxury of and this, you know, just having time off mm-hmm. um, and yeah everyone had their own experiences and dealt mm. with it their own way yeah I did oh, sorry there you go I was just gonna say it's like obviously um, what name are we using oh, for you now dear Sam is fine <laughs> Sam was considered oh, an dear. essential worker. Yeah. S- sorry, I turned into somebody else for a minute there. Um, whereas I lost my job due to lockdown and then lost another job. So I was unemployed and trying to get subsidies to help support us. So we were really grateful for the fact that you were considered an essential worker because it helped us manage to get through it. So, I mean, there's some people working nonstop, other people wishing they were working. Like, I tried to um, apply for all these supermarkets so I would have some income coming in, and it just, because everybody else was doing the same thing. Mm. Having a job in the medical field definitely uh, was one of the stronger positions to be in. Mm. Yeah. And when you make clothes and nobody's going out shopping, it's not really a great position for you to be in. (laughs) How do you guys feel about the death of cinema? Oh. When you say the death of cinema, do you mean the death of movies or the death of going to the cinema? Going to the cinema. Going I feel cinema. great about that. I <laughs> love the cinema. Oh, yeah. but it's not dead, is it's it? It's stinky. When was the last it, time it we... seems to be declining? Oh, God. Mo- movie theaters are not, not doing not, very well. Not t- yeah. We're going to one tomorrow. Hey. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Hollywood yeah. theaters probably doing better than most because it's really niche. Mm. The they only thing like I miss about theater was the popcorn. Because I just that's the main thing is I read this because I like. I love just the buttery popcorn. Oh, I'll buy somewhere. you some popcorn. If you do, but it has to be fresh. I wonder if they, um, if they go back much. and they start lowering their prices just to entice people back in again. Well, wasn't Tenant supposed to be the movie to <laughs> save cinema? Is it Tenant or Tenet? Tenet? I don't. Oh. Tenet? Tenet. I think the listeners know what we mean. <laughs> Look, oh, that yes. one with the letters. I'll, I'll blow up a giant image of the, the movie title right now. Tenet. <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> So, what, oh, okay. uh, who was it by so a famous director? No, I mean, there uh, Mr. Mr. Nolan. Yeah. 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 And, but <laughs> but that obviously didn't work. And then I don't. What's the next big movie? Uh, Wonder Wonder Woman. Yeah, Wonder Woman. What is it? Nineteen eighty four or something. 19. Yeah. What? Yeah, nineteen eighty four. Do you not yeah. know about this? Is this? Did it come out this year? No, no, no. It's coming out soon. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. It's right. Trailers to, for it. And stuff. That's the that's the next movie that people are saying is gonna bring back the, the theatre going experience and I'm, oh, oh hell yeah I go to see that I mm. don't think I mean I might but I don't think I, I'm like I'm not going to if, if nobody else is I'm only going to do it if, if, if we did it as a group but even then I could just be like oh nah here's the thing watching the TV at home you can pause it you can go and do your own thing and yeah I, I do get that but there is like again a charm about going to the cinema knowing that you're taking this time that you're not going to be um 
you're going not going to be like pausing as you go you're just you're going to enjoy yourself and have an experience in like a nice big theater mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and watch it with good sound quality on a big mm. screen yeah i think that that has a lot to go for it um then sitting in front of um the tv at home which mm. is more common mm. but not as nice yeah, I'm a serious multitasker when we watch stuff at home. Like, I'm always going to be on my phone looking up the actors or, um, like, if we're watching a thing that's animated, who's the voice actor for this? What else have they been in? Where do I know their voice from? Where do I know their face from? Mm. Or I'll be doing some kind of craft, sewing or knitting. Mm. And so I do understand there's, like, a different thing about going to see a movie because it's not socially acceptable to be doing that in a movie theater. Yeah, yeah. As we have learned in our life, that people think you're weird if you bring out your knitting in the middle of a cinema. <laughs> Have you done that? I did it once. That's incredible. And it was, do it again. It was one of those days where it's like a Tuesday morning where there's like hardly anyone there. Oh I didn't choose a peak time. I wasn't going to be that person. But I needed to I needed to the finish my knitting, but then my nice. friend wanted to see a movie as well. And I was like, well, I'll bring the knitting with me. Love your truth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just one of those people. I'm like a living Isn't grandma. Isn't knitting loud living for grandma. It? Yeah, I, I was like just as, thinking about as the long clicking as it's of the. Not if you a noise. if you have um, depending on if you, what kind of needles you're using. Do you put silences on your needles? No, it's just if you're you using you metal <laughs> ones. The, tape the tape. metal <laughs> ones clink more than the plastic they ones. They go clickety clackety. Clickety clackety. Yeah. I'm making uh. a jackety. <laughs> I'm making a jackety. I'm pretty sure I've seen my mum like get bored in a movie though in the cinema and get her phone out and start doing like a Sudoku or something. Oh yeah, that does sound. My, fa- like my favorite yeah. movie experience is leaving every hour on the hour to urinate. One <laughs> <laughs> well, and being in the center of the room, you have to get past like the same like Just 15 people. Yeah. Excuse me, sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry. Sorry. I sorry. Excuse in- me. We saw Interstellar and I hated that movie down to my core. <laughs> Because about five minutes into that movie, I needed to pee so bad. But I would have had to ask an entire row of people to get out of the way oh. so I could leave. So I just didn't. So I hate that movie because I nearly burst my bladder. I think I do like um, the feeling of special screenings or um, premieres that mm. aren't really proper mm. premieres. Mm. Like when um, I went to a special screening that my mum organised um, for the... I was going to say the latest two Star Wars, but we're we going to call them that because I don't believe they should be. They're separate. They're separate. This. The what? The, I don't even know which ones. Is you're it the latest about. three? It's the latest three. The trilogy. The yeah, yeah. The, the, the ones trilogy. that somebody broke. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we went to viewings of that where there were people dressed up, like kids dressed up as Princess Leia, um, like people brought Why their lightsabers because. Layer is better. But she, Ray is the main protagonist. No, no. Go away. <laughs> There's Captain Phasma. What are you talking about? Okay. Yeah, yeah, Phasma. Phasma? Oh, who knows? Is it Phasma or Phasma? I have no or idea. Or the chick with the tiny part in the helmet. Oh, I have no idea who we're talking what was her about. Name? I don't know. Oh, she, the, she flew a Y Wing for some reason. Well, she's in the Lego Christmas special. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a fantastic okay. watch. Oh, no, I, I want to know about yeah. this. A message you didn't tell for me the viewers. <laughs> go and watch the 2020 Star Wars Lego Christmas special. You, you will awful. waste 48 minutes of your life. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to hear about this. I, I think this is a good segue into the next part of the topic. Because, oh. because <laughs> the, the, going, going, we're going to do a little bit of backtracking. One of the reasons we stopped the channel as a whole is it was me, Josh, and Lag were the main... What we, what we did, but um, Lag and Josh had, had, had a change in schedule of their jobs, and unfortunately, their days are off didn't mesh with everyone else's, which is why they'll be unlikely to be joining us for a while because they don't their time schedule just doesn't match with us, unfortunately. Um, but that was a big thing because I could no longer record with Josh, and Lag was never really here to organize podcasts properly, so it just ended up falling through until we all just stopped as a whole because it never really worked. So I think there'll be a small staff changeover until we get a main staff. Body, we're staff group. Um, it makes it sound official that we have an office or something. Yeah. Can we, I get We have business badge. cards. Can we can we get name badges? We have business cards, that's enough. I think we should get T shirts. <gasps> Oh my gosh, okay. Shin Madness no, t-shirts. So we have Shin Madness, it's channel madness. Sorry. No, she, she she's saying Shin. Oh, Madness okay. there's, Madness a comma, there's a comma in there somewhere. We totally have, wasn't actually the case that they pinnacle 
and somewhere out there is a, the official Channel Madness mouse pad. Oh, that somebody's oh stolen. Oh yeah, somebody's stolen. So you know who you are. I have a huge stack of business cards. I wonder if they shelf. stole that and then went home and Googled it. Uh, maybe they're maybe, one of the, they're maybe one of the maybe they're one yeah, they're yeah. number one hundred. <laughs> okay, um, but <laughs> one of the th- so we're talking about what, are the, what we do want to continue with and what we can do are things that are somewhat easy for us to edit, and one of those would be like reviews or nitpicking videos because I it's, it's always I'm a as a pessimist I always like finding negative things and stuff and poking holes at it as mm. much as people may not like that I love it. Mm. And one of my favorite things is the, is the constantly poke Sam about Star Wars, and just <laughs> rile him up because I know how much he loves it. I do love Star Wars, and I'm trying to get better at not getting wound up by what Disney's so, done. So I don't far. Really, I don't particularly want to bring that up here because we could spend three hours just just mm. going on about Star Wars, and that's that's a video all in itself that we can we can save for. Mm. But yeah, things uh, things we could do podcasts, uh, reviews. I I want to do some more. Um, Black Library novel reviews because those are the best on our channel. Weirdly, they do they give the most views and um, a few comments on there. And I understand there's a few people up there who are upset with the way I I particulate my words. And I understand I will take that criticism on board. I am sorry. <laughs> well, I don't do much about it, but <laughs> it, no, I I, I I understand what they're complaining about, and it's it's fair criticism. I say ums and ers a lot in my my review per se and that's why i want to do them with you guys because if i have somebody to bounce off i'm unlikely just to sound like i'm talking to myself and trying to come up because i can't i, I can't i don't really do scripts because I, I don't really write properly so i have to do hot takes and without sounding like a, an idiot i sort of i can ramble on and go Ooh, um i felt like mm, um and yeah a lot of people don't like that I'll, I'll read some books with you. We'll, we'll have a book club. Well, yeah. yeah well, in I the mean, grim darkness of the future. Yes. So the Actually, if we assign million. like three chapters and then have a, a bit of a, a sit down book chat club. about it. Book club. Well, <laughs> the, 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 here's the thing. Um, me and Sam have basically read all the Horus Heresy and all the Siege of Terror. We're trying to get. That's um, right. Shin has personally read every single Horus Heresy book. I have. <laughs> what? I have all. There's like a million of them. No, there's like 60, 60 in total. Or That's 69. Million. That's basically a million. I mean, I'm slowly being introduced to them so yeah. we can have a the input of somebody who hasn't. And that's that's what I want. Been surrounded yeah. by it forever. That's what I was yeah. waiting for. I was going to forcibly bring someone in who is not a <laughs> not a Warhammer fan who's bring, brought into this this law and what's their take on it? Because me and Sam have we idolize a lot of things about it and our our opinions can be very biased. So I wanted to bring in people who don't understand things and get what their feeling is but she's um, well, looking directly can, at me i mean <laughs> uh, have you uh listened slash read the last church because i have a lot of things that i feel like we could talk about about that and it's since it's a smaller one it could be something we could start off with if people are interested yeah it is but it, it, it'd be very like it wouldn't be one that a lot of the viewers would understand why not? Is it not um, one that most people look at? Not really. It's it's it's, it's part of a collection. If, if anybody ever gets to it, it'll be because of that collection, not for them to go out of their way to go find it. What's the one we're currently listening to, sorry? That one would be a good place to start. Um, Horus Rising. It's yep. the first in the Horus yeah. Heresy that's, series. That's where we would, Ooh, I like that one. That's yeah, probably so where that's what we're working on now. No yeah. idea. That's where we would start. It's probably the first three because the first three starts off the whole Horus Heresy. They're chronological in order, even though the rest kind of are, kind of aren't. And we can go from that. So, but the problem is, it was waiting around for everyone else to read them. Is it what you're looking at about sixteen hours or so per book? Yeah. Mm. So uh, Horus Rising, uh, False Gods, and Galaxy in Flames. Yeah, but we can start with one book and go through. Yeah. And it wouldn't just be um, Black Library books. It'd be other books. Like I've recently read The Lord of the Rings after all these years. Um, Have you only just read it? Now? Yeah, the first time I read it was like a few, like a month last month. That was the oh, first time I we should read talk it. about Lord of the Rings. We, I love that. Book. Um, I read Jurassic Park finally. That, I really loved that. I didn't think I would, but I really loved Jurassic Park. And Very Lost different World. to the movie, right? Z. Kind of. It, it, it's kind of, kind of, it is kind of isn't. Uh, hmm. Lost World is a bit different. Did life book. find a way? It, it did. <laughs> um, and <laughs> that's, things we, that's things we can go into about those particular videos. I don't want to do it here because this is just a brief overview of what we could do, mm. what we can't do. I'm not going to commit or promise anything because that's what my mistake was last time. Mm. Is saying I was going to do all the stuff and never go around though. We still have the YouTube. Uh, I don't know what that is. The goal board, the plans, the Minecraft idea. Mondays. It's Actually, coming we, up, we, boys. We can tick one of those off. 
I know, I know, I'm waiting there. We have, uh, ever since we first started the channel, there's a little whiteboard that has a whole bunch of notes and bullet points and tasks and, and, and goals on it. One of those goals is 100 subscribers, 100 likes, and 100 videos. We ticked off the 100 videos once a while ago, but we can finally tick off the 100 subs. I feel like this would be the perfect time to bring over a piece of paper and rip it so that you know that you've got that goal now. Like you. I'm, I'm not going to, just imagine we did it. I'm not going to. <laughs> Ah, but yeah, just like I, I, I've had that up there for nearly two years, just looking at it, the wedding game, human full state, like, all these different things. I'm not going to do any of them now because I can't bother trying to organise that. If if I ever find time off work, if I ever ever end up leaving work, then I can de devote more of my free time and will to such projects. But until now, I'm happy just doing a simple recording of me talking for an hour, having people show, throw their opinions and me telling them they're wrong. I mean, you can always <laughs> ask what people. Would yeah. like to hear or see exactly, <laughs> and then we can take that into account and then do the complete opposite. Can, I, I don't want. <laughs> I don't want to avoid spirit. anything too political, but the most political thing I'm going to say is I want there to be another trilogy of Star Wars by with. Uh, me too. Ryan Johnson, I <laughs> agree. With Ryan Johnson and JJ uh, Abrams. I wanted to bounce them back, back and forth just to keep keep this thing going. I, want, I love <laughs> I love the the chaos it's creating. I want to see this thing happen. If it's don't long... want to talk about Mandalorian. Oh, I haven't seen the second season. I so we could talk about it after I've seen it. Because mm -hmm. mm. I'm I'm not particularly too like I'm I'm not a Star Wars fan. So spoilers don't bother me. I already know who, who, who people that turn up and particular threads i have personal opinions about how i feel what they should and should not do but we can talk about that if we do such a video um good topic i want to talk about the boys but todd refuses to watch it it looks too stressful <laughs> and i'm a stressed person <laughs> <laughs> you always have a list of like 10 things that you need to do i don't want to watch a tv show it takes too long <laughs> Make it into a movie. I, I, <laughs> I, I, watch it like the, 10 times speed or something. Oh, you can do that on Netflix now. You can do like 1.5 speed. Yeah, okay, 10 times speed is a bit different to like 1.5. <laughs> yeah. 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 Watch, <laughs> watch on and it pushes Sun off the roof really fast. <laughs> I was wondering as well um, if anyone would be interested in um, discussing anything about IBS or gluten free or what it's like to be <laughs> like that. Because um, but it's been our adventure this year. Yeah, yeah. So, because um, life has definitely changed since last I was on the podcast. So, yeah. Um, if anybody's interested you got married. in that, oh yeah. We, no, I think <laughs> no, you we guys were married. married before. Yeah, uh, the wedding games. The yeah, no, they, they've been oh. married long before. But I'm just, I'm just throwing it out there. Oh uh, yeah, that's that true. Happen? They're still married though, and it we're seems to be going well. We're still yeah. married. Yeah. 2019. <laughs> yeah. I remember that. We'll they're they're both still looking at you're going to go. <gasps> As, um, so I just. Should we take bets? <laughs> <laughs> Be very careful with yours. <laughs> uh, um, but yeah, no, if you guys are interested, just comment in the um, comments. <laughs> I, here's the thing we only have 100 subscribers, and we mostly get two or three comments lucky a year, and they're mostly insults to me. <laughs> really? It makes it better because then people are mean on YouTube. Oh, they are, but I, people are mean on the internet. It's it's yeah. You have to you have to have a tough skin, and you got to not let it let, not let it get under you. No, but we've got to wait until your all of us have an insult. It's so supple and smooth. If you want, I can comment just specifically about everyone, just so it's out there. <laughs> we need someone to pick on all of us. Hmm. It can't be the same person though. So if someone was just typing, so if it, and if anyone's wondering, we're recording this before Christmas. Whether or not this comes up after Christmas, we don't know. But we had our Christmas today. We opened Christmas presents. Christmas. We did. Particularly, it's a week before Christmas, but we all have busy Christmas time. So we did, we did this before. We did our Christmas before Christmas. Pre Christmas. Pre Christmas. I was given a fabulous action figure to play with <laughs> Voltron. Necron. <laughs> <laughs> it was the Necron McFarlane action figure. I'll post an image. Bam. There it is. There it is. Now it's gone. <laughs> there it is. No, it's yeah. not. There one, it is. One, no, one frame. Just there. You, should, you should post a photo of it wearing like a little Christmas hat or something. Just be fest festive. I might put it under the Christmas tree so people can see how pathetic my tree is. <laughs> hey! Ugly tree! One. Yeah, I'm surprised you guys don't have one. <sighs> 
You don't have a Christmas tree? No. no. We're Where's your pagan so spirit? Come on. Where's our pagan spirit? Well, we, we just, didn't kill we just, a tree and put it in our yeah, uh, we'll home, so. Absolutely. Get a pentagram and some candles and some, I don't Keep know. All the yeah. Yule lads out you know, of Draw house. a circle on the ground, sacrifice some metal, you know, all the We'll sprinkle some salt around the property. Yeah. 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 We'll make sure Speak you in tongues. light the log. The Yule yeah. log. The Yule log. I mean, the cat hasn't spoken in Latin for at least a week, so I think we're doing pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, what is it was... about Latin that's such a demonic language? Why'd they pick Latin? <laughs> it's not specifically spooky. It's not a spoken language. They could have, it, like, it spoke... can be, but it's, n- it, it's like, not it's, supposed to be. Yeah, you can still say the Latin words, because obviously a lot of scientific words come from that but then they're like oh it's a dead language nobody speaks it because no one speaks it like the way we speak english right but it's also kind of in a way it's like how english people use french words in day-to-day language but don't speak french does that make sense yeah like in a lot of like you go to a restaurant and it's like it says it's got a Blanc sauce and it's like well that's not english is it (laughs) Mm. or german kindergarten You don't, you don't say it with an emphasis or an accent. Kindergarten per block. Kindergarten. Oh, goodness. <laughs> <laughs> that does not sound tasty. Doing some more back- Cut that out. <laughs> Get doing, that. doing some more backtracking when we're speaking about COVID. And I think we as a group have an int- had a very interesting COVID situation because I think it's the first lockdown we were planning. I think we were planning uh-huh. for about nearly oh, God. half a year. It was a, a group trip, a nice holiday for me and Sam's birthday. Um, unfortunately, it got it got like boosted out because of lockdown. We weren't allowed to go anywhere. We, we had to move, yeah. so we had to cancel yeah. our the place that we had booked to. And so we'd set up a we finally set up a second one. Immediately as we planned it, second lockdown just and just that threw everything out of the out of the works. We eventually got there though. We did. We had a nice trip. Uh, where'd we go? Talpo. Talpo. <laughs> it was very <laughs> memorable. <laughs> yeah. Big <laughs> pool. We, we, we as a group had a nice trip to Talpo. My favourite part was going to the hot pools, but everyone already knows that. The, I love the, the fair. We went to like a. Um, I like a market. I like a market. Yeah, I like yeah. the market. Yeah. I really regret not getting any earrings when I got you earrings. I should have got some for me. I, I, oh. Oh. I oh, should have. No, no, I found the lady's website, don't worry. Are you talking, okay. are you talking about that um, morning market we went to? Yeah, yeah. I, I, was on, I was a little bit let down because I, 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 I've been to the Avondale flea market and that, that's what I consider a market. Yeah, but that's a flea market. What's the difference? There's a flea market and a farmer's fleas. market. It's no different things. <laughs> it's flea market, farmer's market, craft market, all very different things. Mm. But I was expecting something a lot bigger. Mm. I, I was hoping for something bigger. Yeah. Tapa's population it's, is quite yeah, a bit smaller than Liverpool's not all Yeah, I, I think I learned that after like the third time when we were like we started driving around like we've been everywhere. This is all Talpo is. But <laughs> yep. If anyone and, is watching and, from Talpo, and what, yep. what I yeah, I apologize. please like and subscribe. Yeah, <laughs> that, smash that like button, <laughs> yeah. Talpoians. Um, Ring what, that bell. What, I, what I, I think we all found fascinating is because. Wasn't this just after the second lockdown? Yeah. It was, yeah. and and I think the week before we went down, there was a COVID, few COVID cases. Yeah, there was That's a right. family who came down from Auckland and had gone to a few of the locations we were planning to mm. go to that had tested positive, and of, of someone that they'd interacted with down in Topo also tested positive. Mm. So there was a lot of signs that said specifically, if you're coming from Auckland, please put a mask on or go away. Yeah. <laughs> mm. And apparently we did stand out as Aucklanders, because yeah. a, a number of people commented on it. Oh, oh really? I'm not surprised. Yeah, we, we had that look about us. Maybe they, apparently so. they didn't recognise us because they've run well, if, if, else if, if, you go, if you're going to walk around swearing at everyone with your fingers up high, just with a giant teacher that says, I'm from Auckland, suck it. Of course, you know. I'm not Jaffa! Walking down the street. It's so cold here. (laughs) Everything's so much more affordable. I don't like it. But going back to my... What do you mean I can afford a house? Why does it smell like Rodnecks? (laughs) Going back to my original point, it was... was, We all noticed that they... they, It it felt like nothing had happened. Like, we remember the McDonald's there and there was like a hundred people all just packed inside. Mm. Crowds did feel a bit strange, yeah. Yeah, there were a lot of tourists down there. It was crazy. So that, that was an odd. Ex- that made it quite odd. Mm. One of the things I really did enjoy about that trip away, though, was the markets. But especially was having only five dollars 
to go and get a gift for somebody for oh, like fun. We yeah that was a lot of fun that. nah we yeah. didn't my succulent's still alive yeah <gasps> haven't killed it I haven't killed the what succulent about what about the plant I got you Sam oh sadly that one has well, passed on <laughs> <laughs> I left that in Nicholas charge for a short period Are you, oh, no oh, don't oh, blame oh. me Nicola, for that you one no. <laughs> well I you know uh, how it, count was it countdown or newer newer was doing those little plot plant pot thingies oh, yes, I had yeah. three of those I was trying to grow and I didn't transfer them into a bigger place bef- when they needed it and then we went away for a little for a couple like a weekend or something and I I forgot that someone needed to water them and we got back and they weren't doing too good I tried to save them sadly now those three little ones I was trying to grow were dead but uh, one of them was cauliflower which I didn't think was going to grow very well anyway that way. so that's yeah, fine but my succulent's doing well it's Yay. good we should all get pitch in and get Sam a celery plant Celery. celery. He hates celery. Exactly. I think that's the point. I yeah. know that. <laughs> celery and pineapple. <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't fine. hate pineapple. He just doesn't want well, it a pizza. pineapple pizza plant. <laughs> All the <laughs> roses are pineapple I mean, pizza. I mean, if you can. Oh my gosh! I feel like if you had that, you would be a billionaire. Like a plant that grew pineapple pizza. Yeah. yeah. What I want to know is, would it be soggy? Depends mm. how it grows and whether you, it's raining. Because you have to peel the pineapple, obviously. Yeah. But would, when you peel it, would the pizza be in the pineapple <gasps> or be pizza on the outside like of the pineapple? pineapple? Maybe, like maybe the skin. dough's on the outside. Oh, the, so it's a pineapple, oh. but the outside is a dough and it is not like a spiky demon. Have you seen the image of, it's like a, it's like half a pineapple with tiny little pizzas on it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so much pineapple for pizza. I recently had a Hawaiian pizza and I... Think, I think, now, think I am <laughs> the same as you now with the pineapple. Like, it didn't... Ah, uh, so you're scum. Cowards, it, it didn't lot exactly of you. thrill me, and then I was like, this would be better without pineapple in it. Yeah. But see, I yeah. don't... I wouldn't order a pineapple pizza, but if that's the only pizza going, I'm going to eat it. Yeah. But also, <laughs> I had... As we evidence. Yeah. <laughs> about an hour ago. Well, I didn't eat the pineapple one. I was eating the cranberry oh, chicken one. Yeah. Thank you very much. There you go. But Fake news. I've had a <laughs> a cherry and spinach pizza, mm. which me. sounds ridiculous. One more time. <laughs> Cherries and spinach. Not, not cherry sauce, but a little, uh, no a of actual cut up bits of cherry. I don't want to hear anything about no damn pineapple anymore. It was, Cherries it, and it spinach. It was good. It was good. It was a recipe my mum found, and she, I, she, we had too many cherries, and they were going soft, and she was just trying to find recipes to use cherries. So we had like a, a week where every dish had cherries in it, mm. and one of the things she made on a Friday was a cherry and spinach pizza. I've never heard of that before. I swear I must have told you. No. Oh, well, it was really good, and so my mum actually made it a couple times again after that. My dad doesn't like it, um, but that's yes, I can matter. see why, yeah. Well, it was more the spinach he had a problem with. Yeah, I, that would be my, my thing would be the spinach. Mm. It also goes well with sure. rocket as well if you don't want spinach. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There you go. But if it's the greens you get a problem with, then I don't know what you're going to do. What kind of cherries? Are we talking like glazed cherries? Like no, can, no, no, like no, no, bits no, of candy? no, oh, no. Not the cherry candy cherries, pizza. no, like fresh cherries. <laughs> and pineapple yeah. too. And you Maybe just, like you just slice them up like American. you would like a tomato. When I'm you a little just bit more on top. board now. I was picturing I, like just oh, sugar oh, on top ew, of a no, pizza. That would be horrible. How do people, how do you feel about glazed cherries? Yes or no? No. No. I love them. See, I don't. It's okay to be wrong. I don't like fake yeah. cherry flavor either i find that very disturbing to me oh yes no not not pleasant actual it's, cherries are delightful actual though. cherries oh, are, mm. are good but it's it's like shortbread to me i can only have so many before i start feeling sick what, actual cherries or glazed cherries actual cherries and like, glazed cherries i just can't eat so if I, 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 I got i got a huge t- uh, tan, what are they called punnets 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 Punnet of, of actual cherries I just, so i just feed them to you eventually you'll be sick I am. You, you saw how much food I just ate. You think you should feed me? I also else? have glazed cherries for my ham for no, Christmas. No, so I feed you one no. at a time. There's quite a few flavors you got going off your ham, though. So that's gonna be that's gonna well, be a finish really. for someone, and they're gonna request that video now. Shouldn't you what do are you doing for Christmas? And, oh, that's raining. No, that's no, not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, so for my Christmas plans, I'm um, Josh is going to his family. I have the whole house to myself. I'm going to make my. My singular individual Christmas dinner is going to be a nice glazed ham, some crab meat, and then some yeah. some Fake potatoes, some roast potatoes. But mm. the way I'm going to do my ham is going to be brown sugar and pineapple sauce, and then when and there's going to be like some pineapple rings and some cherries and what are those things? There's an people? orange as well, wasn't there? Yeah, I'm going to get that going. You're going to put go. an orange in, yeah. 
And some cloves. Cloves, yeah. So do you see what I mean about the, the flavours being involved in that? Well, no, because it's mostly sweet with the what, the clove tang. If you chuck, like, maple syrup or something on there, like, it is... They're, they're, they're all syrup. Why is that ridiculous? <laughs> they're all, they're did, all sweet. I did it last year. Okay. Well, you don't usually need the maple syrup if you've got brown sugar. Yeah, when you're making a glaze for ham, you usually have something slightly fruity, and then you've got either a syrup or a sugar. Yeah, the, 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 the pineapple rings just go on top because that means you can just eat... Like baked pineapple rings afterwards. The pineapple That's sauce, a sensible way of doing it. Yeah, the pineapple juice and the brown sugar just act as the glaze, and the, the cloves just. I don't know why people put cloves on them, but I just. Because oh, it's Christmas Eve. Yeah. If you say Christmas, oh, put cloves in it. There It'd is. Great. Star and Ace. There is this thing that um, is quite a traditional really. thing to do, <laughs> which is to have an orange and then to put a whole bunch of cloves into we the orange. We in England, yeah. Yeah, I don't know what the reason is for Make it that. look like a hedgehog. Well, it's last time we were in a I honestly have no idea what, why we do, did do it. Do you just, is it just a fresh orange stabbed full of cloves? And do yeah, you, you just, just, you just do, you do anything in. with it afterwards? I or does it just sit there? I believe it was used pint decoration, then sometimes you just chuck it in some old wine. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. It was like a decoration for the table. It made it look like a hedgehog. Yeah. It would keep the spirits away. <laughs> Even hedgehog demon spirits. I really feel like I should know this scene we did it for so many years. It's, I may have to look, research this. It had the a next special podcast. name. I know it had a special name. Yeah. But I don't remember the name. We're just going to cut an orange and quarters and just throw it into the, the tray. I thought you were going to do a hole. handful of cloves. What? I thought you said you were going to put it in hole next to the... Well, no, I was no, going to no. say chicken. Ham. Sorry. No, well, no, the image I saw it was like cut into halves and just put on the oh, yeah. side. That makes sense. Halves would make sense. They do sweet. And I'm like, oh, I've never seen that before. And also, the I, I, I'm got, I got the spice. It's like the weird stars. As a type star of star, star anise. I've never, never used Christmas. that before, so I'm going to... That'd be interesting. That's going to be a but lot you don't like of different licorice. flavors, dude. Nah, because it'd be on like quarters. One quarter will be clothes, the other quarter will be those things, and I'll just, the rest will be nice. But are you going to cut or, um, the, uh, the lamb leg, in, sorry, the ham leg into four bits? No. You guys, are, you guys are acting like I've never done this before. This is like the fourth year I've, I've done my own, my own personal ham. I know what I'm doing. I'm on board. I, I hey, feel you like do you what you want. We, I'm not stopping. I am. I will. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need people's permission. We're just asking because we're interested in your life. I know. And mm, that's it, why. When we get to the point where nobody else has any family and the only family we have is each other, slightly. It's oh, a really <laughs> dark thought. <laughs> so then well. you, uh, then I'll invite you guys around and you can experience my Christmas ham. That means that one of <laughs> me and Todd have to die. Well, no, because you. Because uh, we we're family. Shut up! But you live with each other. <laughs> well, we consider family, family though. You know. <laughs> We would be family. Oh, Hana means family. All right. Oh, Closing up the arguments. Unless nobody else has. <laughs> is any else? Is anything? Anybody else wants to discuss before well, we end? Well, I kicked a hedgehog the other day. Oh, what? Yeah. Why yeah. did you kick? It's a probably not important. So alive or dead? Up. <laughs> <laughs> it was alive or was it dead? <laughs> it, was, it was an alive hedgehog. I'm sorry, the dead one. I was taking the trash out. Did it you go? So did you go out of your way to kick it, or was it just in your uh, way? I was taking my trash out. I wasn't wearing any shoes, and I had no lights oh. on outside because I'm an intelligent human being, and I kicked a hedgehog. Barefoot. It, it got real spooked, and I put the trash away, and I came back, and it was <coughs> scarpered. Actually, oh, it got real spooked. You're yeah. saying that like, how would you feel if you were just sitting and I someone also, came and kicked you? I also got real spooked because <laughs> I couldn't see it. He came back inside. He said, "Bang, bang! You have to come outside. There's a hedgehog." It was and we, pretty cute. And we kind of went outside Definitely. and shined the torch and. Like, oh, we could just take it. Just staring inside. at us with his eyes, it's like, what is happening? His eyes got kicked for Probably no reason. He got a concussion or something, poor thing. He's just been it, kicked across thing. the room. Yeah, it, it felt real bad. It drew blood. Yeah, because they're spiky for a reason. <laughs> it developed like a bit of a rash on my toes, but it's gone away now. Oh my lord. Yeah, yeah why, we, we don't need that sort of thing in 2020. Laughs. Yeah. Venomous hedgehogs. <laughs> The next coronavirus will become from the hair joke. All thanks to Todd. Well, I've, I've actually heard that they're really, like, unhygienic. I told you that, yeah. Yeah. No, I, I heard it online, so it may or may not be a lie. Yeah, was it on Facebook? Probably. <laughs> Everything on Facebook is true. That's it. That is true. That is a fact. Oh, man. I got some stories I want to tell you, but not for the podcast. That'll be for another time. Are they too dirty? Yeah, not, no. Not so for work podcast. Are they too clean? I was messing around on, on Whisper last night, and I, I got a few funny responses to some posts I was making. What's Whisper? Mm. I, we've already been over this. It's we're like do, a, we're showing our age. 
<laughs> we don't know the social The kids and their tick and their tox these days. Oh, I'm bloody four. Why don't they just get a clock? That's something that Leg and Josh will do. They'll sit on the couch for like an hour just tick-tocking and you'll hear it go off and I'm just like, fucking hell. Tick-tocking. Nicola watches YouTube videos of yeah, TikTok. Yeah, I watch YouTube. Which is like a step. Like compilation step videos closer. of TikToks because I don't want to get TikTok but like some of them are funny. No, so. it's, Josh will, it's dangerously close. Josh, Josh, Josh will go to bed at like 10. I'll go to work at like midnight or one in the morning and I'll get a, 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 a TikTok video sent from him. So he's obviously still still awake just going through TikTok at night. Didn't TikTok get cancelled or shut down? Or in something? the US. I think the US and? was trying to do it. I think it's something about like uh, privacy being breached. Or... Uh, there's a lot of people have come up with a lot of opinions that Trump's trying to do it because of China or something. A lot of rules in but the land of the free. That's politics and we're not going to do politics. We're you know, just showing our age. You know, <laughs> one no video game. series we yeah. do is something about board games because we have a lot of board games. Mm, yep. That's yeah. not true. We're not going to try and record them because that takes like a professional setup with like top-down cameras. And we can suspend a camera from the ceiling if you're all good. We can suspend a person from the ceiling who holding a camera. Yeah. yeah. But we can talk about them, review them, because we have a lot of games coming in the future because a lot of us have kickstarted some <laughs> games. A lot of us. <laughs> some of us have a few more than others. <laughs> probably price wise they're all roughly the same price we could probably do Sheer a song. number is a little bit different <laughs> yeah okay you better, yeah so because sh- shut up sam <laughs> with with my facts and logic yeah well, but, <laughs> but even not even counting the ones we have coming even the ones we all have individually is quite a large amount shut up with your rational opinions <laughs> <laughs> exactly. we could probably do a song with how many things that are in there there's like we've got unfair wingspan legendary smash up Barbarians, Mysterium. and that's been the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm happy to end that there if, as long as nobody else has anything they want to say. I also am happy to end it. Todd yeah. needs to go to bed. He's got something doing tomorrow. I'm going to ignore naked people at work. Uh, I was oh, going yeah, to, but I came here instead. You came here instead. I came of here instead of drawing people. naked people. Do you want yeah. me to get naked Good so you can you. draw me? Yes. And you have to wear underwear. Do it now. I feel like that needs to be said. <laughs> well, that's not a naked person then. Can you sew? Yeah. Can you knit some like things for me to play with? <laughs> like the well, like in, in, the, in the context of naked people. Or? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I just think that that's really out of context if people can't see that you're wearing a scarf. Nicola knitted me a scarf for Christmas, and I'm wearing it. But I, because I ha- I'm a fidgeter, I have to do something with my hands. I'm, I'm, I, I don't want to fray the ends because I'm eventually going to pull something off. Yeah, you might start unraveling it if you do it too much. Yeah, so I need, I need like, put a little bell. <laughs> oh. little balls. Give me back the one that your cat has. You gave it to her. No, I did that's not. Her, that one is one of her favourite toys. No, it's her favourite toy. I don't care, it's mine. <laughs> yeah, but she, it's, it's her favourite toy, it's and stolen. she's a precious little baby cat, so... I will call Suck the police. <laughs> they're they're more probably side with the do? baby cat. I do, but I want that one back. That's my favourite one. I think she's it's under the couch right now, probably. All right, guys. Thank you for uh, <laughs> thank you for listening to us. Um, it was uh, a podcast by Channel Manners. Hopefully, there'll be plenty more in the future. I believe Todd, you said you'll be free next year. Sure. For your own <laughs> editing. I'm still studying, but I'm going to be studying full time, so I won't have to work as well. So I think and I will have some time free. Me. So are we talking like daily uploads, or what we're we looking at? For Minecraft that? Mondays. Here it comes, boys. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll do. We'll have. We'll cover a lot of. Wham stuff where we're all painting, we'll try and paint, we'll have uh, yep. opinions about things, a show series. We've never talked about the end of Game of Thrones. That was a Oof. that's something we could have gone into. We could probably do an anti procrastination podcast. I don't know how that would go down. We, <laughs> no, we just basically don't procrastinate during the hour, podcast. Twenty four right, hour live. Sam, stream. with your oh. illustrious English voice, would you like to say goodbye to the ladies and gentlemen on the internet? Thank you, everyone, for listening. We're sorry it's been such a long time since the last upload, but hopefully those days are over and we'll have a few more for you in the future. But uh, have a good day, stay safe, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye! Bye!